Well, it's the first day of the second week of Lock In with coverage brought to you by Alienware. I'm joined right now by Blabber after an unfortunate loss against 100 Thieves, but uh, I mean, they are the tournament favorites. So I don't know how much that's affecting you, Blabber. I'm sure it always sucks to lose, but how how are you and the team holding up after that? Um, I mean, I'm okay. I think we haven't really talked about the game yet, but we'll probably talk about it later. Um, but sucks to lose. Uh, but hopefully we'll do better going to playoffs. Yeah, what has been your personal goal for this team? Not necessarily in terms of how you're going to perform and lock in, but in terms of what what are you hoping to achieve um, by playing with this lineup in lock in, maybe for yourself? Because obviously, you know, it's not the one that you guys will probably end up playing with during the rest of the season. You want the rest of those folks to come over here. So, how are you approaching it? Um, I think there's like. It sucks, obviously, that we don't have our full roster for lock-in, but I'm just viewing it as a time for me and Fudge to practice our synergy um, together. Uh, having, like, us play on stage for the first time for a lot of people, right? Like, Isles, uh, Fudge playing mid for the first time, Darshan coming back. So we're just kind of just prepping like that. Um, I'm not too focused on the wins or losses, honestly. Um, but we're just trying to get our teamwork together well and try to practice uh, how we normally would. Well, I'm glad you mentioned the the fudge thing because I'm very curious. You know, in in one sense, you like you're playing with Fudge, who's a brand new mid laner. He last year was, I think, a rookie or maybe technically not a rookie because of his time previously, but you know, relatively new player to the LCS and to professional league um, and the main stage. Then, on the other hand, last year you were playing with Perks, who's kind of on the opposite end of that spectrum, right? Yeah. So what has it been like switching from perks to fudge? And I say that not to shit on fudge, but I'm honestly very curious, like as a jungler, what is that, that trans transition like? Um Well, this is my first time ever not playing with a European mid laner, uh, in the LCS at least. So it's definitely been different. I would say Fudge definitely dies a lot less than every other mid laner I've had before. Um he's very respectful of ganks, I would say. Um, but I do think, like, he's still also just learning the role, right? And he's trying to pick up the mages that obviously he hasn't played before. So that's for some something that he's been working on. Um, and I think, I mean, it's definitely just, it's definitely different between him and Perks. I think Perks was the type of guy to go kind of crazy and call a lot of aggressive plays. Uh, half the time they're ints, ints. But he does like to call for, like, these super aggressive plays. And he's very... Like I wouldn't say greedy, but he he knows what he wants and what he needs. Um, he is a little bit greedy, but uh, but yeah, I think it's been nice working with Fudge. Uh, it's been nice working with a mid laner who kind of I don't know, if, like Fudge when he was a top laner didn't really have top syndrome, where like top laners just died every gank. Um, but he's kind of transitioned that to mid lane, I guess. But he's just learning mages, I would say. I mean, was he? I kind of feel like he was fairly aggressive as a top laner last year. Maybe I'm misremembering. It's been a long time. But, uh, you know, would would you say that he was fairly aggressive last year as a top laner? And is it is it different at all now? That sounds like he's not as as aggressive as a mid laner, maybe just because he's still learning stuff. Um, It's more like the, the champs that we're picking. Like, right now, it's just a lot harder to be aggressive. Like, if you're playing Corky or, like, these type of scaling picks, um, it's a lot harder to, like really do anything early um the fight you're kind of just scaling into late game um there's a lot less fighting i would say around uh the mid lane early game you're kind of just like ganking to relieve pressure or um trying to just like fight dragons or scale in side lane with like victor type champs so something a lot more fighting um a lot less fighting i would say than before when people are playing much more aggressive mid jungles like with lucian i uh i was doing rift reaction this week my spotify show with with emily and Emily was commenting on how she was really happy to see how well you two were doing uh, last week as a as a mid jungle duo because she felt like there were times maybe where it seemed like you guys were a little disconnected um, last year in the top and and jungle. So I don't know if that's something you guys have worked on. Maybe you disagree with the idea that like you guys had any kind of miscommunication or disconnect last year. Uh, maybe it's just easier with a mid laner. I don't know. Uh. I never thought that like me and Fudge were disconnected last year, but obviously it's just easier to look connected to your mid laner because you're around your mid laner way more often than your top laner, 
just because they're in the middle of the map, yeah. closer to all your camps, and um, having mid prow is very important. So in general, you're just playing with your mid laner a lot more. Um, I personally didn't feel like I was disconnected from Fudge last year, except for maybe in like the beginning of spring or in lock in, where like he was kind of getting dove and we were kind of leaving him there. Yeah. Um, but besides that, like I didn't feel like any huge disconnect. I would say. How have you guys worked uh, in the off season to make sure that you guys are a good mid jungle duo? Is it just a lot of solo queue together, or how how you guys do it? Um, it's been hard because we were planning on going to Korea for a boot camp, like as a team, right? But then I went out for a month with the rest of the team, but Fudge didn't come, so it was like kind of ruined because of visa issues. Yeah. Um. So that was like really unfortunate that we weren't able to play together. Um. So. It's been really hard, and then after I come back, obviously after holidays, I got sick, and then um, we just started scrimming. So we we played some solo queue together for sure, but it's mainly just been practice and talking about what we want to play. If that's the case, are you surprised at how well things are going for you guys so far, given how little practice you had? Um, I mean, I'm not really that surprised. Honestly, I would be disappointed if we weren't three and one. Like, I. I, like on, obvious, honestly, I'm not gonna say like I expected to win today very easily or anything, um, based on uh, at least our scrim results. Uh, but I do think like the opponents we played were definitely weak. Yeah. Um, if we had to play EG, TL, and Hundred as our three opponents, it definitely wouldn't look as our like three victories that we had. So combined with the fact that two of those LCS teams are literally playing with their academy team, um, so. It definitely feels good to get the three wins, but it's like we're kind of just beating up Academy players. Yeah, yeah. It's like these don't feel like accomplishments, I <laughs> yeah. guess. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's fair. All right. Uh, well, other than that, uh, any, I guess, what has it been like playing with any of the other uh, three dudes on the roster? I don't know if there's any standouts, anybody you've been really surprised uh, by or uh, whatever. Your your third string ADC, I feel like, is having a pretty good tournament. That's kind of surprising. <laughs> Yeah, he's definitely um, performing up to expectations. Um, definitely performing well, I would say. I think the whole team in general has been playing playing pretty good. Um, I think like it's been very easy, I would say, to conduct reviews or like at least talk to my teammates, um, which is not always the case with every team, right? Like sometimes it's a lot harder to get feedback or um, have someone understand what they're doing wrong. But I feel like everyone on the team is very receptive, and it's been really nice, like even like if we're not winning to be able to like talk about like why we're losing. Yeah. Oh, that's fair enough. Thank you so much, Blabber, for the interview. Anything you want to say to any of the fans out there? Uh no, just, just thanks everyone. Uh hopefully we can do well like with this roster going to playoffs and lock in, but um hopefully we'll get our full roster before spring starts. Very good. Well again, thank you so much for the interview. For everyone else you can check out the rest of my coverage of all things LCS right here on my YouTube channel. It's a new year, which means it's a new you, which means maybe you need a new computer, or a new monitor, or a new, some new accessories. There's a bunch of cool stuff that just got announced, actually, uh, that Alienware is coming out with soon. But right now, why don't you do me a favor and celebrate the new year by doing something maybe I've asked you to do before on a couple of occasions, which is to click the link in the description below and head over to Alienware.com slash Travis to take a look at all the awesome stuff over at Alienware's website where you can pick up something swell to, uh, you know, get ready for 2022. Thanks to them for their support and their sponsorship of our content.